It's a ball, but this ball is very powerful. It gets people going, it gets people getting together, they have fun, they have a good time, but at the end of the day, united. I mean, over a thousand people participating, more than 2,000 people coming through. It's amazing to have this kind of atmosphere. Two, three, Amaja You know, we're giving them an experience, especially the kids, that they've never, they're not going to experience this anywhere. I'm most excited to meet new people today. That's the one thing I really enjoy about Amalja. So you get to meet new people from different backgrounds. Give, give, give a strong pose, strong pose, strong pose. And yell, one, two, three, yell. Good. Yes. I feel confident. We got a good team. Yeah. Cheer. Yeah. Right, so good. we're gonna bring our A game. A game. A game? Strong. Let's go A plus game this yeah. time. How about that? A plus. A plus, game. plus, right. plus plus. All right. Perfect. <laughs> you hear it here first, guys. They're here from our Orleans. They're gonna rock it! Give me Omoja 10! Omoja 10! Say it again! Omoja 10! Omoja 10! Let's go! You see, at that time in 2012, it was a very simple thing. This Omoja 10 or the vision wasn't what we planned on. It was, hey, you know what? Let's get these kids together. Let them have a good time, right? And, and we didn't even think beyond what was possible. But I think with every year, and the number of people where that were coming in, it just changed. Like things just changed from year to year to year. And it was driven by people, it was not driven by us. All right, how are you feeling about the draft so far? Hey, not gonna lie, bro, we got this. We got this, we bro. Got I'm feeling this. confident, bro. Yeah? Whoa, Chicago! <laughs> hey, Chicago. So at the fifth year mark is when we realized there's more to this. Until the fifth year mark, we didn't really know. We just thought, hey, it's a soccer tournament. But then we noticed that we were losing teenagers, we were losing this, and we had to make it bigger. Right? And that's when the five to 10 year mark started. And in, since then, it's just been, you know, every community we touch, you learn something about them. And every community brings it together. JJ's on three. One, two, three. JJ! Let's go! Is Toronto your biggest rival team? I think so, yes. All right. Are you looking forward to play them again later on this tournament? Yes, actually. Yes, I am. And what's going to be the result of that game? We're going to win 9 to 1. Oh, 9 to 1. What a prediction. All right. High fives. Okay, 
this all not a game. <laughs> this is a coming people are coming from different states. We meet people, we meet family, we know each other very well, we meet new people. Well, Moja is doing great things. They've been doing amazing things for many, many years now. And we are also someone who um, partners with nonprofits, our company. So, you know, Moja represents everything that we represent. So we wanted to definitely get behind all the good things that they're doing and uh, show our 100% support. Dress and catch. Dress and catch. Catch the from there, we said, how do we get this simple game of soccer to expand even further? How do we build that brotherhood? How do we build that community? How do we build that family? So what we decided to do was say, we need to spark up our own communities first, then we need to expand it to phase two, which is let's get the Shia community involved. Yeah. This is you could call phase three, which is now we've opened it to the greater Ummah. Yeah. But again, I go back to the point, the ball is that uniting factor. It feels like home too when we got here. All these friends and some new ones in the making. Uh, we'll travel twice as far. Take it off, take it off, buddy. Line. How is it being a soccer mom? Oh. <laughs> field one, field two, field three, field four, field one, field it's non-stop but amazing. To get to that end, it's not only about soccer, you know, it's a beyond soccer thing. It, it helps families have conversations about soccer. But the subtle part is they're sitting at a dinner table, connecting, talking about something. I met parents here, why are you here? I want to see my kids play, I want to see them, I want to enjoy the game, right? That's beautiful to me. Soccer is great, you can win a trophy, you can put it up on your shelf. But at the end of the day, what's the real winner of all this is the unity part, the conversations that are happening. You guys have been coming since the beginning, since Omoja's fruition, is that correct? Yes. And what are you happy to see with the changes that has come after 10 Omojas? Hmm. Um, definitely the largest change is the fact that they have brought in all of the Muslims. It's not a tournament for any certain sect, it's just if you're Muslim, you're Muslim, come and play. This is a quality event. The, the team has worked hard to provide a venue that is respectful and friendly to the Muslim American community and our diversity, but also has the standards for the competitive person who's interested in playing sports, playing soccer, and want to be at a quality field. When we actually had the idea of doing this, we never ever, we were sitting on a grass field talking about a tournament that we just lost. Umoja came from there. It's amazing how we got to 5,000. It took a lot of effort. You know, there was a lot of different challenges. 
But what it took was a, an intense marketing campaign going almost door to door, but going to different restaurants, selling our vision to these restaurants and them accepting that and spreading it to their patrons, going to the different centers and doing the same thing. This is the one thing that the Muslim community has that's outside of the mosque, that's outside of Ramadan, that's outside of Muharram, that's outside of Eid. This is something that brings communities and Muslims together merely for the fact of socialization and enjoying it and the love of the game. Just the mere fact that this thing grows and this thing improves without being in the same place every year is a testament to the volunteers who put their time into making this what it is. Are you excited? You got a trophy? Very, very loud emotion, okay? One, two, three! Oh, wow. Wow. Awesome, guys. You guys love yeah. playing with your friends and your brotherhood? Yeah. Yes. yes. And we're gonna win these finals all together here today. Hey, yeah, final work. game, do or die. All right, this is what we, we played for, sacrifice. Our brothers got hurt, they, they're, they're out on the sideline. Let's make it worth it, all right? champion over here. How do you feel? Yeah, yeah. baby! I, I feel 21! 21! 21! 21! Age is just a number, everyone! Age is just a number! Yes! <laughs> I think Umoja, at the end of the day, you know, if it's that one kid that scores a goal and starts running and just is excited, that is just as important as anything else. To, right now, you can see these connections in microcosms. They are in pockets. Omoja 20 is going to be the most culturally diverse, geographically diverse. It's going to be huge. And everybody will be coming to it. And we're planting the seed now. We're starting young. Right? Because we want to infuse this addiction for Omoja into them at a young age that they never, never, never even think about not coming back. It's sometimes hard to verbalize like why you keep coming back, but it's in it, the reason is because it's a feeling. It's not necessarily a logical reason that you're coming back. It's that you feel good here, and so your natural inclination is to come back again. I know everybody's celebrating the 10th anniversary. Everybody is putting their hands up and saying Omoja has reached the 10th year. To me, it's just a number. Let us not let this thing die. That was my motto, and we need to do year after year after year. It's 10 is a number. Great, we've done 10. Alhamdulillah, it's all Allah's blessings. But at the end of the day, let's do number 11, go one year at a time. 
but let's not let this thing stop because if it does then all we see here the beautiful smiles the communities getting together the unity the empowerment that's also going to go to a halt Hey, Sandra, how's it going? Hi, Mujahid, I'm good, how are you? Doing good, doing good. Did you get your tickets already? Tickets? Tickets to what? Tickets for Amoja 2024, of course. What? I don't even know where it is. You don't know where it is? No. All right, I'll give you some clues. Okay, sounds good. All right, first clue. A quarter of our Americans are only five hours away from this location. Muji, we're Canadian, man. All right, second clue. It's known as the city of firsts. First hospital, first zoo, and it hosted America's first birthday. I'm still lost. All right, all right. Um. Okay, what about, you know, Rocky Balboa, eh? Rocky? The Rocky Creed. Mm, I need more. Okay, all right. Last clue. Hey, that's a Philly cheesesteak. Philadelphia? Philadelphia. We'll see you in Philadelphia. At the Proving Grounds. Thank you.